Hi everybody, it's Miss D from the Pre-K Counts Head Start Classroom at Schuylkill Elementary in Phoenixville, which is in Chester County, Pennsylvania. And today I'm going to give you an activity that you can work on with your child. Uh, this activity is called Say It and Show It. And the concepts in this lesson are recognizing and naming a number as well as being able to understand what that number means as far as the quantity. So this is a really easy activity. It can be done anywhere. Uh, you don't really need that many materials um, if you use them at all. Um, the way I do it is usually I'll hold up a number card. You can get these at the dollar store. Um, you can make your own just on a piece of paper writing numbers. Um, or even if you're out and about and you don't have cards available, you can just use your fingers and hold up certain number of fingers. So it can be done multiple ways. I'm gonna show you with my number cards, but again, you can make your own number cards on just a piece of paper, um, or just hold up the fingers and show them the amount and have them name uh, how many fingers you have. So then again, they're looking at the number, they're naming the number, and then you're gonna then have them do an activity. So what you can ask them, and they can choose, because children like to make choose, choices, is you can ask them to clap out how many you're holding up or showing them. They can pat it, they can snap it if they're able to snap. Um, if they want to tap on the top of their head, whatever they want to do, they can jump up and down that many times. Um, it's really up to them and what resources you have around you. But again, you can just use your fingers and have them do the actions and you don't really need any materials. So let's get started. So for example, um, if I held up this number, I would ask the child to name the number on the card. So hopefully they would recognize it and say one. And then I would say, okay, now I want you to show me one. So if they chose to clap it, they would just take their hands clap one time and say one. Um, if you wanted to do it a different way, again, you could hold up the fingers and say, how many fingers am I holding up? If they need to do one-to-one -one correspondence and count with you on your fingers, that's fine. Or if they recognize it by just holding up the fingers, uh, the child then would say three. And then you could ask them, do you want to tap it, clap it, jump it, pat it? Um, and say they wanted to pat the top of their head, they would go one, two, three. So again, you can do this um, depending on how high and, and your child recognizes their numbers. We initially start with numbers one through 10, but if your child can go above that, um, you can keep going. You'll just run out of fingers <laughs> after 10, so you might need to have uh, a card or um, to hold up to show them that number. So again, really simple activity to do with the children, uh, and it's a great way, again, to recognize the numbers. So here we'll do it again. They'll say the number six, and then they can clap it. One, two, three, four, five, six. They can count it out as they clap, or you can just count it as they clap and see. If they make a mistake, you can bring them back and have them do it again um, and just show them if they need to show. So you demonstrate it for them. You make, let them make choices as to if they wanna clap it, pat it, snap it, jump it, um, whatever your child is in the mood to do. And again, they're recognizing numbers, they're naming the number, and then they're demonstrating their understanding um, of how much that number represents the quantity. So have fun with this. Enjoy working on numbers with your child and I'll see you soon. Bye.